What is he doing here? What is she doing here? And who brought the Avon lady? She's a court stenographer, and there's a notary on the way. We've witnessed the Waldorf Bass Wars firsthand. We know you both. You have nuclear capability. Sooner or later, one of you's gonna press the other's button, and we're gonna end up with nothing but cockroaches. You know, we're way ahead of you. Yeah, we're in a truce. Which is why we figured you wouldn't have a problem making it official. A peace treaty, based on more than just a handshake. So that's why we're gonna sit down and hammer out the provisions of a ceasefire. And if either of you decide to break the treaty... He or she will be excommunicated. We'll no longer be your friends. Well, I suppose, as I leave my teens, I should start to think about my legacy. I have no objection to order in the kingdom. Let the negotiations begin. If you give me the standard on weeknights, I'll give you the Carlisle for the entire Christmas season. Done. But I want an addendum that you can't vet hostesses from a roster of restaurants I frequent. You can't have fashion week in both Paris and Milan. You have to choose. Never. But I will give you our Basel in Miami and Switzerland. Okay, moving on to Article 47, strip clubs in the outer boroughs. Sidebar. Sidebarring, do you really want access to strip clubs? No, I just don't want to seem like I'm ceding territory too easily. So, pretend like we're talking about something serious. Like my birthday. <laughs> or, have you figured out that anniversary situation? B, what can I do? They're already planning a family thing. Unacceptable. Just like that sex glow you're sporting. There was no sex, just coffee. Coffee is the thing you have before you pay the check to go have sex. It's different. Colin is... Our professor? The one you promised to stay away from except where class is concerned? Which is why we're only meeting during office hours. You are one macchiato away from making the same mistake that you always make, and I won't be an accomplice, especially not on my almost birthday. Okay, fine. And I won't mention him anymore. the strip clubs. Uh, so that concludes the treaty. Actually, there's one more point I want to negotiate. In private. Attorneys are dismissed. who knows that wars don't end they simply change and there can never be peace as long as guns are still loaded and there's plenty of ammunition what are you still doing here chuck i threw you out hours ago i wanted to let you know the treaty is over fine with me this pretense of civility was exhausting being amicable isn't in our blood i've realized we're not friends friends have to like each other and after what happened tonight I could never like you. I could never like you either. In fact, I hate you. I've never hated anyone more. Every nerve ending in my body is electrified by hatred. There is a fiery pit of hate burning inside me, ready to explode. So it settled it. We're settled. may be deadly. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Morning, Upper East Siders. Hope you had a good night's sleep. Or at least a good night's play. I need to talk. I'm having call-in issues. 
and boundary issues. Ladies knock. And besides, the only issue you should be having with Professor Forrester is the topic of your midterm. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to hit the snooze button on this conversation and go back to All I can think about is how much I want to be on his arm at the ballet. And instead, I've got the dean's target on my back. How are we supposed to even try to have a relationship? I hate it when the duvet puffs up like that. Maybe it's just the way you're sitting. I know we agreed to wait, but, but it feels like, meanwhile, life is just passing us by. It's, it's not fair. Life is tough, Tarina. Just get a helmet. Or at least borrow one of my chapeau. Wear it all day to remind you not to lose your head. Get on. Go. Well, thank you for the great advice. Out so much noise they could sell out of bows. Oh, this has got to end. I thought it just did. That was the last time. What are you doing here? Step any closer and I'll scream. You better believe you will. If we're going to end this, we have to start the immersion therapy right away. What are you talking about? This is a detox. We have to stay away from each other. Where's the fun in that? Cleanses aren't fun, they're effective. You know what's even more effective? Excess. Eat anything too much and you won't want it again. I hope you did your yoga. This could go on a while. No! Miss Blair, no! Professor Forrester is downstairs. What? Why? He's here for me as my date. A date? Yes, and I must leave now to go to the ballet with him and not have sex with you. KGB can't get me to talk. Chuck Bass has no chance. Blair, we need to talk, or rather not talk. What don't you get? I'm here with a date. Professor Forrester isn't a date. He's a distraction. Keep your focus. Give in to your desires, your needs. Let's finish this the right way. Colin isn't the distraction. You are. What? He and I made a deal. We couldn't be together until the class was over. But it's so hard, so I had to work out my desire somewhere. Nice try. I'll be waiting in a telephone booth across from the dress circle. I'll see you at five. Dear Ruzer, may I please have a moment with you? Of course you're involved with this, Miss Waldorf. I told you and Miss Vander Woodson to try and stay off my radar. Dear Ruzer, I'm not lying. What's going on? Nothing that concerns you, Professor, or concerns anyone for the moment. Actually, it does concern Colin. He's the one in the photos with Serena. Is that why you resigned your position today? While it's true that I resigned because of my involvement with a student, it's nobody's business who that student is. All that matters is that the responsibility is mine and I took it. By leaving my post. That's somewhat admirable, Colin. And while usually it's the professor and the student professor relationships that takes the responsibility for any impropriety, if that student is under suspicion of trading sex for grades in the past, I think we might need to examine the situation a little more closely. Oh, let me get my camera. Here, look as close as you want. Oh, let me help you with that. Oops. You didn't want to look at those photos anyway because it wasn't Serena in them. It was me. Blair, you don't have to do this. Why would I jeopardize my college career by lying? So, go ahead. Fire Colin. Oh, wait. He already quit. So let's just go in and enjoy some jeté. Allegro. If I could say something, I, for one, can fully corroborate Miss Waldorf's story. She was indeed having an affair with Professor Forrester. I know this because I keep tabs on everyone Blair sees and talks to due to my insatiable jealousy. Though she did state something to the effect that he didn't quite satisfy her like I used to. It's true. Don't you see? They're all protecting each other. This is what they always do. I'm sorry. Who are you? Miss Sharp. The reality is that with no proof, I can't tell who is telling the truth. Yeah, well, there was proof until Blair drowned it.
There's nothing I love more than coming home with a victory under my belt. What do you think our count is? For us, a million, the world zero. Sometimes I think a takedown's better than sex. Don't get crazy now. Well, it's an endorphin rush. Plus, it makes me think of old times. I really appreciate you stepping up tonight. I wanted to say you owe me, but for some reason, it didn't feel right. Wow. Holding back from a threat. It's almost like something a friend would do. Maybe that's because that's what we are. Friends. Well, who knew it would take tons of hate sex and a public takedown for us to finally get here? I should be going. Good night, Waldorf. Same to you, Bass. There's no way of knowing if our journey will lead us to pleasure. As much as I find Casey personally abhorrent, she's right about black and white. It's decent rather than decadent. You have something more devious in mind. Saints and sinners has a nice feel. There's something alluring about an angel drawn to the dark side. Or a devil redeemed. Masquerade. Break free. Like Casey and Gossip Girl. Now, how do I impress Anne with your virtue? I could denounce your unseemly party. A tasteful dinner in front of the whole board. Impeccable plan. It's really it's a beautiful friendship. See the devil got my address. See the devil got my car. Uh, uh, my black Balenciaga would be perfect to publicly condemn you. I love public. I love condemnation. I love you. To my heart, so I cannot make it back from the dark. Of course, no one does black like you are. <laughs> I avoided Casey's prying eyes. I appreciate that. And you being here after us, but don't you have a denouncement to attend? Dorota's distracting the board with Delucci's Cavatelli until I get back. I heard what you said. What conversation are you referring to exactly? Three one-syllable words that, under the circumstances, you may or may not have meant. Do you want me to admit them? If they were true, I would want to know. to lose their rational thought during sex. They bark and scream out for God and their mothers. I should get back to Anne. You meant it, Blair. Hello, my heart. Are you gonna say something this time? I will. I, I mean... We can't have everything. And won't be the only person who might think you're weak for forgiving me. And you won't build a business based on being New York's bad boy bachelor. I understand the consequences. Are we willing to pay them? You make me wanna die. Saints and sinners aren't the only ones battling for souls tonight. Let's see if we go up in flames together. To 
It's no surprise C&B succumbed to the dark side. 